The amount of questions I've been getting over knee pain is pretty crazy. And I think that's because there's terrible information out there. There are either bodybuilders who have no idea what they're talking about or physical therapists who completely complicate the process and don't make it easy for you to understand. And like I always say guys, knowing why you do something helps you perform the exercises better. So these PTs making things way too complicated is hurting your performance on the exercises. I swear every PT never gives you the doses for the exercise. They never tell you how often to do it, how many reps and how many sets. My name is Martin Rios. I have a bachelor's of science in exercise science. I'm a student physical therapist and in 2024, I'm gonna be a doctor of physical therapy. Not only do I understand the anatomy of knee pain, but I also understand what typical lifters go through. In this video, I'm gonna give you a no BS step-by-step -step guide into fixing your knee pain. The most common cause in knee pain in weightlifters is patellar tendonitis. And this is because patellar tendonitis is typically caused by repetitive actions at the knee. Us weightlifters are constantly doing leg days and if you're following one of my programs, you're doing leg day twice a week. This repetitive stress on your knee causes your patellar tendon to become inflamed, causing pain. So based on these facts, I'm assuming that you probably have patellar tendonitis and I'll give you the three interventions that you can use to fix your pain. When you think of tendinopathy, always think of eccentric training. Eccentric training is super beneficial for those with tendonitis. No matter what kind of tendonitis you have, you should be incorporating eccentric training. So for patellar tendonitis, you should be doing eccentric quad training. An eccentric leg extension is a great exercise for this. For my loyal fans out there, I know you guys are wondering why I included a leg extension when I talk so badly about it in one of my shorts. I think the leg extension is terrible for athletes, but it's great for rehab purposes because you're not putting your body weight on the knee. Whenever you're performing this exercise, remember you're not going for strength here. You're going for form and focusing on the eccentric portion of the movement. The next thing you should be doing is a decline squat because the decline squat is the best exercise for patellar tendonitis. I think the best thing to do for patellar tendonitis is to combine the first two interventions I mentioned. So do an eccentric decline squat. This is the best combination that you can do to cure your knee pain. Now, unlike most physical therapists on YouTube, I'm actually gonna tell you guys how often to do it, how many reps, and how many sets. For both of these exercises, you guys should be going for eight to 12 reps. Remember, focus on the eccentric. We're not going for strength here, we're going for form. Perform these exercises about two to three times per week and I want you guys to do three to five sets Kind of base it on how you're feeling, but at least do three sets. And don't worry, I didn't forget about your knee pain. When performing these exercises, let the pain guide you. That's something I always tell my patients. A little bit of pain is okay, but it should be at a tolerable level. Don't try and kill yourselves. Now I'm onto the stretching exercises for patellar tendonitis, which are obviously gonna be two muscles that act in the knee, your quads and your hamstrings. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you the two stretches for patellar tendinopathy. We remember that the knee does extension and flexion, so we're gonna be stretching in both directions. If you guys saw my head kick video, this is my favorite hamstring stretch. And like I always say, when you're stretching, you do the opposite of the muscle. So the hamstring flexes the knee, so we're gonna straighten it. And then the hamstring also extends the hip, so we're gonna flex our hip and get a good stretch in here. And like I always say with stretching guys, we're not trying to kill ourselves, but we're trying to get a mild stretch that we can tolerate. So for the quad, get up here right next to the wall. And I think we've all seen this stretch but really, really focus on flexing your knee first, because remember the quad extends the knee, and then one head called the rectus femoris actually flexes the hip. So once you get a good bend of your knee, extend your hip back. And don't forget with this exercise, a lot of people compensate and turn out. The quad only works in one plane, and actually the knee only works in one plane. So make sure we're just standing back and forth here. Okay, we're not coming out to the side. Again, unlike most PTs, I'm actually gonna tell you guys the dosage of the stretching. You guys should be holding the stretch for roughly 30 to 60 seconds and do it for three rounds and perform them six to seven times per week. Remember guys, after three rounds of stretching, you get no benefits. So if you guys wanna do 100 rounds of stretching because you have the time, go ahead, but it'll be the same as doing three rounds of stretching. The risk factors of patellar tendonitis are actually solved using these exercises, which is gonna be quad and hamstring tightness as well as decreased eccentric quad strength. But another risk factor of patellar tendonitis is actually excessive training volume. My brother and I put the correct training volume in our programs to make sure that you're not only getting a great stimulus for muscle growth, but you're also not overtraining. All patients are different and these exercises might not work for you. So that's why a PT evaluation can be very useful for you. This is why you should join my brother and my school community. Well, you'll not only get access to our training programs, but you also get access to us. If you wanna learn more, click the link in the description. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe and let me know what other videos you guys wanna see.